Everyone's counter. Well, anyways, um, you got some other things going on too, don't you? Um, Do I? Yeah. Well, I mean, you've been working a little bit on producing some of your own videos. Mm. So, <laughs> all right. Um, I wanted to do um, this this year. Well, this year as in this tournament season. Um, I've noticed um, a lot of the content that's out there. I mean, it's fine, you know, like there'll be a lot of media and things like that really geared to getting people into fighting games and things like that. But you don't see too much about really, um, really technical stuff, you know, really getting into nitty gritty. Why did you do this? Why did you do that? Things like that. And we were talking about Combo Fiend earlier, and I feel that a lot of players, they have the potential to like win EVO and things like that, but the problem is their consistency. You know, we, can, we all have the ability to play at like just a long level or something like that, but we're not always consistent in playing our best, you know? You know, you guys have been to the tournaments, you know, you're feeling really good and you mm -hmm. go and you get bodied for no mm -hmm. reason just because you weren't playing your best. And I think that's what separates players like Combo Fiend or Justin mm -hmm. Wong or Champ or whoever that uh, are consistently winning because they're consistently playing their best. And I, it wasn't until this year that I really felt that maybe, just maybe, that I might be able to get on that level. And I want to like learn what it takes to be a consistent player like those guys. So what I wanted to do was document um, kind of like my journey to become like that well, but not so much documentary style, but really like into like the the mechanics of the game and stuff like that. Like really for the hardcore players, you know, and. Hopefully there'll be like a progression because you know you watch old TV shows like uh, old 90s cartoons and things like that You know, it's very episodic tiny tunes like Batman. Those are all great shows, right? But they're kind of just It's not a story arc between <laughs> different episodes of tiny tunes. But yeah. I'll give you Batman. Okay. Yeah, Batman. It, yeah, Batman. It, 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 it was it was a really good show, but it was sporadic as opposed to you see like old um, Japanese cartoons like Robotech, Maracross, uh, Inuyasha, I guess, and stuff like that, where it's, there's like a journey. Even Pokemon, it was like a journey, you know? And so what I want to do is I want to um, maybe chart my own progress. Because I, like, I don't know, we've played, you know, enough games of Marvel 2, but I really don't, uh, I learn by playing, not so much training mode. It's kind of bad. I'm not always doing the optimal combos and stuff. Mm -hmm. But what I want to do is, like, uh, chart my progress as far as hopefully I'll be getting better kind of thing, you know, that same progression that you see in those other shows and stuff. So we'll be starting that sometime in November, I think. Or no, actually, October, October, we're going to be starting up with that. Um, we're still getting the details ironed out, but hopefully um, it's really well. And hopefully, like, it's, it's mostly for me. Like, I want to uh, really grow as a player and also, um, what I wanted to add in that is, you know, I got, I'm not, I'm not the most in shape person. So what I wanted to do oh, clockwork. is Neither maybe is anybody uh, watching this. <laughs> See, I, I, nor myself, nor, like, my, nor ourselves. You know, See, if I take, oh gosh, yeah. I, I hide this well. Here's the master <laughs> plan. If I'm doing this like publicly or whatever, whether it be improving my game or improving like my physical fitness or improving anything, like. It's an accountability thing where if it's out there, I have to improve, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like I had this friend. Um, she had never been to Puerto Rico before. It was like her dream to go to Puerto Rico. And what she did was, you know, she'd been dreaming this for a long time, but she never went about it. So she just finally just went on and bought, bought the tickets. She didn't plan anything. She just bought the tickets. Well, it's like, well, I'm forced to do what I've always dreamed of doing because I've already bought the tickets. So I feel like with a show like this, it's me buying those tickets to Puerto Rico where I have no choice but to improve my game hopefully get on the level that, you know, Combo or Justin or Ricky or whoever, Daigo, <laughs> you know? And I can't say that it's going to be successful, but I mean, I'll try. So we'll see well, how we'll it goes. Well, we'll be looking forward to that. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Awesome. Well, thank well. you. I mean, you're an amazing person. <laughs> you put in amazing work. And congratulations on the Broken Tier sponsorship, man. Congratulations. Thanks so much. Thanks I think that's a me. great, great yeah, move. Absolutely. For both. You and Brogan Tier. Yeah, they make stuff. a lot of a lot of good stuff over there. So, um, also he uh, Brogan Tier. They have a new fall line coming out, and so I'll be a part of that new fall line. Oh yeah, mm. I heard. Oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, see, we should have had. I wish we would have had an image to well, show, but I'm I mean, sure whenever it's ready, 
We'll, ha we'll, we'll show it at yeah. some point. I just Absolutely. quit Final Fantasy yesterday, so I yeah, didn't so have it ready exactly. for you okay. guys. Very good. No, we'll, we'll make sure we show everybody all the yeah. stuff. Shouts to anyone who's still playing Final Fantasy XI, oh, by the no. way. <laughs> I was on a free How server. In there? And I'll, just, I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. So shouts to that. Shouts yeah. to Moogle Mates. Yeah. Awesome. Well, Clock, thank you so much for coming on the show. For sure. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing you at all of these different events. Mm. And you can go to brokentier.com. I believe they're doing a 20% off sale with the word clockwork as the coupon code without the zero. You didn't know that. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, exactly. I'm looking around. Yeah. yeah, we got surprises for you too. Yeah. Okay. Surprise. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I think that, uh, that's going on right now. Yeah. Also, um, Project Giant Sword, uh, this, the joystick that I use, um, they've actually reopened their store. So if you want to uh, check it out, projectgiantsword.com. Um, they also have like a lot of new stuff, a lot of accessories, custom ball tops, things like that. Cool. And also, since Wednesday Night Fights has been going on, G4 uh, Fighting Wars, uh, we did a lot of coverage uh, for the opening night. And I believe the, uh, the last episode, the last part of it, went up the other day, I believe. Just and go check it out at G4TV, <coughs> excuse me, G4TV.com. And that was you Wars. versus your old hero. This yeah, yeah. This <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, nothing changes. He beats me at the end, so. <laughs> yeah. Spoiler alert. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> awesome. Well, hey, thanks for coming down, man. Thanks for having me. Thanks, sir. All right, we're going to take a quick break, and then we'll be back in a little bit with the Cross Counter TV Beyond Gaming Rise of the Web Warrior Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition dun, dun, Grand dun. Finals Round PC. 3 <laughs> for PC. BRB. So, quick video. You know DSP, the uh, Dark Side Field? Well, first he had a fight with Hutch. Now he has a fight with this crazy fat beep. What's up, y'all? This is Mike Watson. Uh, I've been playing for a pretty long time, probably since uh, Street Fighter 2 came out. Like, he, there's three people, and one guy's interviewing all these three people. They're supposedly players. And, he, and he's asking these people just uh, common questions. At your funeral, would you rather they play the Karate Kid theme or the theme from Top Gun? Theme from Top Gun. Theme from Top Gun. The other two people, they don't mention anybody. They just, they say it, they say nice. Nobody knew how to play that game, so I capitalized on people sucking. <laughs> this, the middle guy, supposedly his name is Mike Watson. I have no, no idea who he is. In 2005, I think it was, the three of you were absent from ST Top uh, 8. <laughs> And he goes on insulting DSP. I have no idea who he is. You got some idiot named DSP who's a total piece of shit, by the way. I like, to, I like to get that on YouTube. Crazy fat beep. But this guy thought he was hot shit because he beat me and Choi in a game that was like, it's like fucking Neo Geo conversion of Street Fighter or some crap, dude. <laughs> and then, in the middle of his outburst, a fan, a DSP fan, obviously, in the crowd, he yells, no, he's got 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. 20,000 20, idiots are subscribed to him. That's great. Congratulations. <laughs> he should have said DSP has 40,000 subscribers on one of his channel. Congratulations with your YouTube channel and uh, hope you enjoy your life, bro. I mean, <laughs> he should have defected him a little more, but he might not be that intelligent on one of his channel. Crazy fat. Three. You. Now I'm, I'm going to talk to the guy. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna talk to you, Mike Watson. You got two people, one on one side and one on the other. All right? They're talking. They're like being reasonable, nice, fairly well people. <laughs> you know what? DSP. I, I want to say DSP can knock you out in a minute. In Street Fighter and in real life. <laughs> it's, a, it's a great victory, PlayStation One Super Turbo Champion. You. No, take that, take that to your grave, bro. Good luck. <laughs> he was uh, one of the guests, I guess you can call him, at the at a uh, SoCal Regionals, basically a Street Fighter convention slash tournament.
All right, we are back. That was an interesting trailer. <laughs> that was an interesting trailer. <laughs> Check out SoCal Regionals, December 17th. Uh, that was actually, that was pretty funny. Yeah, no, I had not seen that before. I had not seen it I was like, either. what is going on? Was, is this kid pulling out Mike <laughs> is Watson? Is this kid for real? <laughs> oh, my goodness. That, that made my day. Uh, anyway. I think even you got called out in that video. Did it? Yeah, maybe I did. I don't know. Did I? I think so. I did? Gosh dang it. No, I'm upset. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. Uh, we got a tournament match about to occur. Yes, we do. Uh, we have Far Beyond Death versus Jaded, Jaded Noob, Noob Gamer. Yeah. Uh, what you guys are going to be seeing is a Guy versus Seth matchup, I believe. Mm. I could be wrong. Unless they switch it up on us. Yeah, they could switch minute. it up, you know. Uh, now that you know they're listening, so now that they found out who the other person uses, they're, like, <laughs> they're switching their characters right, yeah, now yeah, to yeah. counterpick uh, the beauty of going live. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the winner of this match, this grand finals two out of three, if you guys haven't been uh, paying attention, we've been doing this online Rise of the Web Warrior tournament series uh, with beyondgaming.com. Uh, so you can go there to sign up because the winner of... Uh, the winner of the tournament series, the two winners will be flown out here to LA for bar fights December 11th. But tonight, the winner will get one of these bad boys, the Creative Sound Blaster Tactic 3D Sigma headset, we, which I was we using. We finally have them in our hands to really show you guys, because Yo. they thought we were lying. They're like, you know what, you guys don't even mm. have access to these headsets. And we're like, no, we do. And they sound amazing, but we just never showed yes. it to them. They thought we were liars. Yeah. They did think we were liars. Uh, this is, I actually used one uh, yesterday for this from my little third strike stream. Hmm. And it oh, worked. you used one yesterday night for third strike? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you did. <laughs> <laughs> How was the sound quality at nighttime for the third strike you were playing? It was excellent. Oh, okay. It was excellent. Yeah, it was like yeah. coming right at you. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> second place does not leave empty handed. We got these Hori VX sticks in. This is uh, one of their newer models that they're trying to get out into people's hands. Um, definitely good competitive piece of equipment here. I have bodied many people at home on this. 60 bucks? 60 bucks, can't go wrong. Entry level can't go oh, wrong. Oh, jeez, except yeah. if you drop the box. <laughs> exactly, so that's what these people are fighting for tonight. Yeah, and of course the winner of this will be entered into the round robin. Uh, and the winner of the round robin will get flown out. So currently in the round robin bracket, we have Perfect Legend, who you guys saw uh, a couple weeks ago here on this show. And then last week, we had Shiggle BMX win. Uh, we weren't live last week, but we still casted the, uh, the finals, or me and Peter casted the finals while okay. you were off on vacation in Japan. That is correct. Uh, so the winner of this will go off to uh, fight one of those guys, or both of those guys, and the guy from next week. Oh man, this shit is so complicated. We need to get, I think the <laughs> last time we talked about getting an infographic Oh made. yeah, so somebody had it just all mapped out so you can clearly see what was going on? That's what we need. Infographic we'll guys, get on it. We'll take uh, care of it. But anyways, let's take a look at uh, this match, if we can cut to the game. Cross counter. 